Season 3, Chapter 4, British Grand Prix. Malachi Wilson has got his World Championship back on track. After winning in France, taking a subsequent victory in Austria, he now sits within striking distance of the two Alfa Tauri drivers in the standings. A third victory in a row could taste sweeter than ever, with the opportunity to both lead the World Championship and win at home. Great Britain then, one of only two countries to have held a Grand Prix in every single year of the Formula One World Championship. And the circuit extends that record further for today's Grand Prix. With good opportunities to overtake at the end of the Wellington and Hangar Straits, there's a lot of potential for close action around the 3.6 miles of the Silverstone circuit. With 18 corners and average lap speeds of around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the longest and quickest circuits on the calendar. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Wilson lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Lando Norris, and Perez, Gasly, Hamilton, Sainz, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Ocon, Stroll, Nikita Mazepin, and Eilert, Ricardo, Joe, Nicholas Latifi, and Mick Schumacher, Sonoda, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Lights out, away we go. It's a great getaway there from Malachi Wilson, who covers off Verstappen as they head towards Abbey for the first time in this Grand Prix. There they go, Verstappen takes the lead briefly. There goes Wilson, back around the outside, and retakes the lead as the crowd heads the village for the first time to the roars of the British fans in the grandstands there. Wilson now back out front as they enter the loop, and what a great comeback that was to take the lead back from Verstappen in the first couple of corners there. There goes the Dutchman now, pulling out to the right-hand side as they enter Abbey for the third time. Verstappen takes the lead away from Wilson in the Ferrari, who's trying to look back to the outside as they make the lead back towards village. Valtteri Bottas now trying to find an opportunity to pass for second place. And um, number Wilson's going to be at a decent advantage now because when they make their way out of Aintree and onto the Wellington Strait, he's going to DRS for the first time in this Grand Prix. So here they come now out of Aintree and down the straight they go. The wearing now open for Wilson as they make their way down towards Brooklyn for the third time. He's going to look to the inside of Verstappen. He's pulled too far left though and he's on the grass now. He's going way wide off of the racing surface. Verstappen takes the lead for good and Wilson now driving back to sixth place just behind Lewis Hamilton and then the Mercedes. The British crowd showing the disappointment here and this has suddenly turned into a gargantuan task for Malachi Wilson who has to fight his way back through the field now in order to keep his race alive. Alright then, so after incident on lap 3, that does put us down to 6th place now and our new target for this, week, for this week's episode is to recover from that mistake and try and win the race. It's quite a lofty task, but I feel we can put it off. Our first target here, Lewis Hamilton will say, we're going to duck to the inside of the loop and get him on the exit there. So Great one place gained already. You and Matthew Arsene, Sergio Perez out of entry and down the line to straight. And this time, one of them, unlike we were fighting with Saturn a lap ago, we're not going to be right behind him, so we'll have to try and close him a bit. A half second behind, so he's got DRS on the player just in front of him, so he's all good there. He's not going to lose anything. We're going to go towards the end of lap before, number four now. Perez and the Clevelands side by side, we've got a front row seat for this fight. Perez does around the outside and takes third place away. It's a brilliant move from there. So we'll try and get the player here on the exit going into that final chicane. If we can, that's taking very audacious breaking, which we do do. And then to the inside, we're going to take fourth place away from the player. So that's two spaces in one lap, and that puts us back up into fourth place. That's the standard set of fast back there. And we start we're leading our team by 2.3 seconds. We've got now to the end of lap number five. First into lap number six now. Right there behind Perez, we've got an issue on the rear wings. So not quite sure what's going on there. Your DRS is offline. The rear wing is down, so you can stay out while we work on a fix. And that is not very good news, guys. We've got no DRS for the time being. And this Check your MSD for a new strategy option. And we're, we're, we're going to make our way down Copy. towards Stone, who's got some strategy change there as well. We're going to hit on lap 13 now, so lap 11. Things aren't looking too good for us, we've got no DRS, and our race we can't get in places back. 
It's not looking too good. Lap number 10 now. We're Lap number 11. The window. On this You'll be on mediums. And we're still right there behind Paris. No progress has been made over the last four laps. We've cut the corner there slightly. So over the last four laps, we haven't made any progress towards chasing the staff up front. He's cut his gear away from Bottas now. He's still, still running in second place. So we're just trying to chase Perez here. And just trying, we're trying to use our ERS to our advantage, but he's still getting, we will still get DRS and Bottas looking for laps, but that's stop now. Make our damage to still using that, that ERS if we can. And we've got a DRS back now, here we go, we've got the rear wing now open, it's been fixed just like that, so problem solved, then we can start chasing Perez again, but we've lost a couple of laps here, so let's try and run extra hard on to make up that damage. Towards the end of lap number 11, now down back down the straight, got a yellow flag in sector 1, not quite sure what that's all about. We're chasing Perez though, we're sitting behind the Shuki Snow and the Haas. He's retired from the race, so unfortunately him, we're down, now down to 19 brothers in this Grand Prix. Throws Stowe then, still chasing Perez as he make our way towards that final chicane once more. And definitely closing on in here. The gap just now three tenths of the end of the chicane, but that will go back up again as we exit it. So things are looking, things are looking okay now. So we're closing back in. So lap number 12 now, coming again, lap number 12. Verstappen hits from the lead. We're going to box this oh, well, time. Push hard on the So Verstappen now down in fourth place. Lewis Hamilton was coming behind as well. in for his stop. Carlos Sainz also in the pits. So we're in a good, decent position now. Bottas is right down in front of us for the lead. We've got to get around Sergio Perez first, which we'll try and do down the ones as straight as we can. We didn't get the best of exit there, so we are going to stay behind him for the time being. Probably, probably won't even get him down the straight as well. So that'll be unfortunate. We're still half a second behind. I'm not chasing him with the DRS and DRS deployed. But he's got DRS on Bottas, so he's in a safe place for the time being. Like he was a couple of laps ago. Got a bit wide there trying to hold things on. But that's what we're going to cut it off for the time being. We're going to go on to lap 14 now. I'm going to make our first and only pit stop of the race. Change into a set of medium tyres. I'm expecting to come out behind the pairs of Bartas, but he could potentially pull off an upset here. Love having in France a race ago. But as expected, those two managed to go out in front of us when they came in front. So unfortunate for us there. So the staff is coming to the last corner now, so he should retake the lead from Bartas there. Going through turn one. Verstappen now passing us and taking over the lead. So back down to fourth place now. We're going right behind Perez and Bottas. Okay, stay clear of the white line on, on the, the exit. exit. We'll receive a and penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Lap 14. We've got 13 more laps to go in order for us to try and make a deficit to the in front. We're going to try and pass Perez and Bottas first. So we're going back down the straight and towards Stowe once again. That will really close in on Perez here. The gap two tenths now and Bottas is just in front of him. So we could try and get both of them over the next lap or so. Plus, first time here is Perez. I'm trying to do what we did for the player earlier on. And the pops the inside of him. He defended inside slightly. We managed to hit the place though. And we very nearly hit Bottas there. I don't think we may have actually hit him. But very slightly. No damage done. You do get a warning for a collision with him. But regardless, we had taken third place. and now back on the rostrum. And the progress continues here with 11 more laps to go. Put on to a couple, a couple of seconds later here on lap 15. Down the line to once again. And we're trying to make a move on Bottas. And we're really closing on him here. No mistakes this time. We're closing when we were fighting with Stappen earlier on in the race. So dump the Bottas to the inside and take away second place. It's a double set to one in the process as well. So really Brilliant. Nice move. Ten laps to try and make up that deficit to Dutchman. Moving on to lap number 22 though. We haven't made too much progress. The gap's still around four seconds here. Of course, the DRS, sorry, ERS still got a decent supply of that. We are getting away from Bottas and Perez. And that is what's important at this point in the race. Of course, in terms of the car's reliability, things aren't looking their best, that's for sure. We are still closing a bit, a bit on Verstappen. I'm being told by Jeff we're getting about three cuts a lap at this point in the race. So, we are closing in, but of course, look at the car's reliability there. It's real solid there. I see you at 85%, and as expected at any point in the progeny race, here comes the smoke. They normally come to the back of the car whenever we're struggling. Regardless, we are still chasing Verstappen. I doubt it was even this late in the race, as that was really got enough to managed to beat him in these closing stages. We have to bring apart all the stops. But no ERS now are, are deployed to be useful that. And Boston, but Boston and Harris are sort of we're sort of pulling away from it at this point. So we're kind of in a world of our own these last four laps. As we push on now to the last lap of the Grand Prix. The staff are now 5.3 in the end of the seriously slow now thanks to the from the car. But no ERS left. Boston and Harris are still a decent way behind. They cut the, cut the grass a bit a little bit there. But no real big no big deal to be honest at the end of the day. Not getting a loop or anything. So Verstappen rounds the last corner now back down the Hamilton straight to win the British Grand Prix, the reigning world champion back on top. We're going to come home to finish in second place. We came so close, but in the end it just wasn't enough, so it had to fail for today. Still a very enjoyable well race, done. nonetheless. Good finish. I think stepped up and achieved what the hours Good job. Done. Kind of all went by in a flash to be entirely honest. Of course, the car issue and the DRS fault, not to mention the incident on lap, one, on lap three, sorry, earlier on in the Grand Prix. Verstappen wins again, us for second, and Verstappen wins third place.
you guys next time. Goodbye. In the end, the only mistake was too big a gap from Malachi Wilson's callback, and as a result, he finished second to the world champion Max Verstappen. Still, a poor day for Alfa means that Malachi leads the world championship for the first time in his career at the halfway mark of 2024.